Hey everybody, it's Blah Blah Peas, and welcome back to some more Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. In the last episode, we completed Villain's Vendetta here in the Mirage Arena, and in this episode, we're going to begin Light's Lessons. Now, before I get too far into this, I just want to point out that I am level 50, same as the previous two episodes, and instead of Triple Fire Ragas, I've replaced them with Thunder Surges, and I've still got a bunch of Seeker Mines and one Kiraga just in case so with all that said let's begin aside from those that I just mentioned I also recommend having renewal barrier and your ultimate shot lock because here we've got a familiar keyblade and a familiar battle pose. We're fighting the armor of Master Ericus. Now, very similar to how he was before, this is a big block evade shot lock kind of battle. You really don't even need any commands to beat him. As long as you know how to block, roll, and shot lock, you'll win. Now, it is a very time consuming fight, and I can kind of compare this to the Lingering Will fight in Kingdom Hearts 2 Birth by Sleep. That's Kingdom Hearts Birth by What? Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Excuse me, I'm so used to saying Birth by Sleep Final Mix in my intros, but anyway. In Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, we fight Terra's Lingering Will at the end of the game. I can compare that battle to this. A more glorified version of their most powerful selves. So, just like when we fought him as Terra, Ericus is really, really weak to his own attacks. Just block them all, they'll be reflected at him, he'll take some damage so long as he doesn't block them after you block him. Like this ball of light move that he keeps using, he'll get hit by every single one of those. Now, the weird thing about the combo is that He'll stop for a split second and let your barrier go down, and he'll hit you with one. But then there's also another one coming in from behind, and if you just block that one, you get your HP right back, so you're back to full HP. So if you've got Renewal Barrier, you really might not even need a cure because you have to block a lot in this fight to do any sort of damage at all. And then when he's doing certain attacks, like whenever he's in the middle doing this, or his ultimate little spinning light show attack, whatever the heck the thing is actually called. Just hit him with a shot lock. That'll be one of the greatest sources of damage. And this battle really isn't too difficult, but boy oh boy is it time consuming. I don't care who you're playing as, I don't care what moves you've got, he is time consuming. I'm at level 50 and look how little damage I've done so far, even when I only did my shot lock. Like, he really did not take all that much damage and whenever he does grab you oh it is deadly and you want to heal as quick as possible now most of the time you can just stand still wait to block but if you're scared like I am you'll heal and then worry about blocking the heal later like right there I obviously could have just blocked because for some reason you can block these fire towers I don't even know why or how but I will take it now here just like half the battle dodge roll to victory or dodge roll away from defeat not technically to victory but just away from defeat because really blocking half of his attacks to do damage to him replenish your own health if you've got renewal barrier and then dodge rolling the things that you can't physically block? He's really not that hard. But I haven't even shown off a single command yet. Let me show off a command. Seeker Mind. Look how little that did compared to any other character that we fought in this entire game. So, he's a bit of a nuisance. Now, the mines can do a lot of damage, but look how much the seek Yeah, look, look how much the Seeker Mine did compared to just a shot lock. So you may want to be using shot locks a bit more often and just blocking the rest of the fight so that you can get your focus gauge back up to do it again. 
The problem with setting up mines is if he teleports behind you and attacks you right as you're setting them up, you can die. Because even though you've got once more a second chance equipped, the fact that you're in the middle of using that specific move, the game registers it as you retaliating and finishing your move. And after a retaliation... Oh, what? I thought I was far away enough. Oh, well. Uh, whenever you do a retaliation, you're open for a new combo. So... Be wary about setting up mines if you want to use that strategy. And Thunder Surge can be used... For invincibility frames, basically, you cannot take damage while you're using the Thunder Surge, but you can definitely get hit while you're landing before you're able to roll or block. So, be careful about using any of those two commands, and really the safest and easiest way to beat them, just keep doing what I'm doing now. Now, sure, the Secret Mines and Thunder Surges can slightly speed things up, but not to the point where you really want to risk it unless you're 100% sure that you're safe. Which you probably won't be half the time. But, hey, there is that other half the time where you can be completely safe. So, do whatever you can as often as you can. Rack up as much damage because you don't want this battle to drag out too long. Look at that time mark. What does that time mark say? Something around 8 minutes, I'm sure. I don't know exactly when I started recording, but... I would say around 8 minutes. Feels more than 5, less than 10, so I'll just say 8. If it's actually around 8 minutes... Number 1, I'm good. Number 2... He's good! Ah, he just takes so long to beat, it's ridiculous. And hopefully here, after this attack, he teleports behind me. Now nah, he's just doing his normal attack. Come on, come a little closer. Get hit by the... Oh, you suck. Thank you. Alright, just dodge roll out of this. It won't be that bad. Alright. Do I have enough focus? Just enough. And hopefully he doesn't hit me whenever I'm done with this. Okay. I'm just gonna avoid you right now. And actually, that was perfect timing because... I had no focus, there's really nothing I could do but dodge and avoid that. If I attacked him, I would have gotten hit. So, that really just worked out for the best right there. Only time I really needed to heal, I had all the time in the world to do it. Alright, and here, I, I just gotta stand and wait. I don't have enough focus to do much of anything. And I can get two hits off. Let's get it. <laughs> there you go, two hits. I mean, seriously, what's two hits? By the time I'm actually willing to do a full focus, I'm gonna have more than enough to do a full focus. I don't need to worry about it too much. All right, but here, come on, come on. I mean, there you go, boy. That's how you speed up the fight. Didn't mean to get into a new command style, but I'll take it. All right, come on, fill me up, fill me up, fill me up, fill up my focus gauge, let him go. All right, come on. Oh, no. Run, 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 as fast as you can. Can't catch me, I'm Aqua. Okay. The only character that's not a man. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. We've got a bar and a half left. We got this. Come on, stop doing the... Oh, actually, no do these. That fills up the focus gauge and does a little bit of damage. Do you what? How did he even hit? What happened? Well, whatever he did, whenever I finally did block it, I got a lot of focus back from it, so whatever BS you just pulled on me, I thank you for it. Because that actually did a lot of good for me. I mean, hey, it almost killed me, but it didn't. So... I'll count it as a blessing instead of a curse. Alright, Secret Mind, come on. Come up behind me. Come up behind me. I'm still not sure how those are hitting me. I'm really not sure. Like, he must be hitting me right before or right after I'm rolling and I'm not at the point of spamming yet. I'm in the wrong corner! Oh no, I'm in the wrong corner! Oh no! Come on. 
please leave me alone. There's a move that I'm terrified of. I don't... I don't want him to go up and smack me in the air and then follow up by doing this downward strike that counts as a second move in the... Uh. Also, yeah, I don't think I actually showed that off, but he doesn't like getting hit by shot lock, so unless he's in the middle of an attack, he won't let you hit him with it. Alright. We're about to the halfway mark in the last bar of health. Unfortunately, he's not doing anything that can fill up my focus gauge, and he's literally just wasting my time. But yeah, this is a long fight. I guess the video just now has proven that. Come on. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Spam, spam, spam. Run. Okay. Renewal Bearer, I love you. You are saving so much time. And Kiraga being as a backup, you are saving even more time. Because sometimes I'm too scared to block because I don't know what move he's going to do. So I'll just roll away until I have a perfect opportunity. Alright. Ooh, I knew I was going to get hit by that, but... I got it off just in time so it didn't do too much. Alright, one more shot lock. He is dead. A couple thunder surges, secret mind, something. Let's get her done. Alright, that's it. And boom. So having secret minds out and about for whenever he's trying to attack you, that'll do some damage. And thunder surges, you're invincible while you're using them. That's the only two combinations of commands I can even think of that are even useful. And you get a ton of medals for beating this. And I would hope you've got over 100 successful blocks so you get bonus medals as well. Not that you really need them at this point because you probably grind it for 9,999 at this point. But whatever the case, almost 11 minutes for me to complete that. Like, seriously. Whenever I said that it was probably 8 minutes, maybe it was around 6 or 7, but still... That's a long fight. This one fight took longer than the entire boss rush in the last episode. So he's a bit of a pain. I wouldn't say he's the most challenging fight in the game. But he's definitely one of the most deadly and one of the least forgiving. Having a renewal barrier completely changes this battle. It makes it go way more than twice as fast. I'll say that much. So, Thunder Surge, Seeker Mine, Kiraga, Renewal Barrier, and then your most powerful shot lock. Those are the five tips that I can give you for this. That's really all you need. Learn how to block, learn how to roll, if you haven't done so already. Anyway, we've only got a few more battles left in this game, one more of which is still in the Mirage Arena. So in the next episode, we'll take on the last mission. Peering into darkness. Arena level 30. And as you saw, down to the wire is the challenge. You're supposed to beat this in less than 25 minutes to get the bonus. Will it take that long? Most likely not. But the fact that the bonus is like that? Let's just say it can be kind of like this one. We'll take care of it in the next episode. And until then, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.